just watching at other stories, watching at what the so-called certain royalists have to say, because at the end of the day, what they do is always to tend to cover up for their so-called monarchy. What they always tend to do on their daily basis is always wanting to paint a positive picture. Because at the end of the day, one thing that is very much evident is that they are paid to speak so much positive about them. One thing that is very much evident, they are paid just to ensure at the end of the day, they are not tarnishing their name. But instead, keep on just painting a positive picture about them. Of late, it's been crisis and crisis and crisis, following up, you know, the so-called entire monarchy. And this whole thing was brought about, you know, simply because Charles at the moment is diagnosed with cancer, cat's disappearance on stake, not forgetting William not being able to just step up for his father, William not being able to kind of just work as the next in throne. Speaking about Camilla at the moment, just decided to take a vacation. In the name of being exhausted after just 13 engagements. But still, the royalists don't see that, but still want to continue fooling people. The royalists have this whole story of, you know, Queen Camilla is shattered and exhausted, but she is not a complainer. And I'm like, look at who is speaking. Who are thus? Weren't they the same people who stated over, you know, that Camilla is shattered and exhausted? Who told that to the tabloids? Who made that whole statement to the tabloids? Weren't it so much from the so-called royal insiders, close sources, friends too? It was the same, same people. And now them bringing about this whole story that, you know, Queen Camilla is uh, kind of exhausted, but not a complainer. Of course, this is a total lie. The Camilla we know is very much good at complaining. And I don't know if uh, she has specific engagements for herself because she's rarely out. She's rarely in any particular engagement. Not surprising now that the palace at the moment has no one at stake to take control. It's really, really irritating, but you know what? We got nothing to do because that's the monarchy we have at the moment. Just allow me to take you through an article. Let's get to see what Kaiser had to say about this. Queen Camilla is still on vacation and uh, will be through the weekend. Her next scheduled appearance is on Commonwealth Day, that is on March 11th, where she will lead the family at a service at Westminster Abbey in her husband's absence. Prince William is scheduled to appear alongside his stepmother, but we will see if that really happens. Because it's not yet confirmed and William is that one person who can decide just to, you know, kind of pull off at the last minute and there's nothing you can do about it. But this one won't turn out or will just show what exactly Monarch is made of at the moment and that they have a lot, a lot of issues within themselves. That is if William just dares not to make that particular appearance. Camilla's holiday this week didn't exactly land the way she hoped. She thought people would be like, you know, in quote, of course she needs time or she's been carrying the winds over on her back. Instead, people were like, 13 events in one month isn't really working your fingers to the bone. Camilla. There are also rumors of a larger rift between Camilla and William, but who even knows at this point? So it's time for Camilla's allies to try to refocus the narrative. Camilla is shattered and work, overworked, but she would never complain about it. The only people who kind of, you know, fall for all this trap are people who basically don't have a flow or maybe don't know what the monarchy has been or what these people are made of. 
they thought that people would so much support this whole story of Camilla having to take a vacation just after 13 engagements. Just after 13 engagements. Are you like for real about this? But that's not how people took it. People were questioning because basically what have, they, what have they done? What are they doing? What are they planning to do? That's just a question. And uh, no royal rotter, no royal insider, no close source is ready to answer this. That's one thing that we've seen. And none of them is basically ready to answer this. Because they know very well that the monarchy is failing. The monarchy is fading. People are tired. People are so much done with what the monarchy is made of. And them are bringing about this whole story of the monarchy not or Camilla not having complained. It's them making it up, wanting us to see that she's a good person and literally really working. But that's not the way we take in this. See, I think if Camilla had announced a week off with the time spent at Ray Mill or High Groove, people would have been more accepting of that. A staycation, if you will, where Camilla would be seen as on call in case of emergency and physically close to her ill husband, jutting off on an overseas holiday while her husband has cancer and while the working royal ranks are so threadbare. That's a huge problem. I love complaints. Whistle complaining of her own on her behalf, please. Charles, Camilla, Cat, William, Sophie, Edward, they all complain and explain constantly. That's why I'm like, I'm not buying this whole story from the royalists. Because we know very well that they are so much full of complaining. They are not ready to kind of just do what is right without being forced or without people not speaking about it. Camilla not complaining, that's a story personally and buying. Because if she wasn't really complaining, she would have stayed back, take care of her cancer-stricken husband. She would have stayed back and stepped up as a, the person, because I remember there were the same people who were bringing about this whole aspect of, you know, that... Camilla is the one who kind of keeps the queen. Camilla is the one who kind of keeps the king going. They say it so well that Camilla is the rock to who the Charles and now her taking a staycation, leaving Charles all by himself. That explains a lot. And they need to re, re kind of rewrite this or reread this or re say it because this is a statement that I bet now it's on record. That's the monarchy we have. That's the monarchy they have to deal with. Always complaining, always lazing around, never working, not surprising what the monarchy has stand out to be. I bet the left Queen Elizabeth and the ones who were there before literally did much better than what the current monarchy is doing. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what's your take on this. Kindly just comment down below. And that was our today's video and hoping to see you guys in our next video.